Welcome back everyone, Grogen here, and today we are back with some more The Beast Inside. Now, the last episode was, um, it was kind of good. We, we were chasing, we were following some little guy. He was a little guy, he was a big massive ghost kind of guy. We were following him around this little house in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere, right? And he's scaring the life out of us. He's scaring us. He keeps jumping out on me. He keeps, um, yeah, we're just following clues and solving puddles, puddles, puzzles. And... <laughs> Let's see where we go. There's my parents' old house where Emma and I decided to move. Hides more secrets than I could imagine. Under one of the floorboards in the attic, I discovered a hidden journal from one of from, from one Nicholas Hyde. Reading it absolutely froze my blood. I don't know if the chilling passages describe real life events or if they're just mad ravens made up by this Nicholas person. To Emma. She might find it interesting. So at the end of the last episode, we were just looking at a little diary and now we've got to go and give the diary to Emma. But let's have a little look and see if there's anything to do with these. E, examine it. This one looks unhappy. Don't worry, little buddy. You've got wings. so You can fly away to a nicer place, unlike me. Oh, it's like a little... I thought he was peeing into a bucket or something there. Stop examining. Throw you away. Right, can we do anything with... We can move the boxes, but we're not going to. Hey, we got a couple of people on the pictures on the wall. Let's go out and go and see where Emma is. Oh, hopefully. Oh, we're still in the same house. I thought we were like going back in time, so we were somewhere else. But yeah, the house looks a lot nicer now. Where did she go though? Are all these doors still locked? Yeah. Can we just check these drawers first? Oh, what's that? Is that acid? Your acid acid? <gasps> poison? Caution poison? Well, we might need that. It might come in handy. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing we want. Try these two, and then we're going to go downstairs and try and find Emma. Nah, there's nothing in there either. There's some pills in there, though. Where? Is that a dog? It's kind of weird. Right, Emma, where are you? Oh, we got a clock. Examine you. Thank God, away. Oh, we've already looked at that. Throw it away. Oh, we can actually go down to the basement. Is that... Right, let's see if she's upstairs first. Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma, can you hear me? Emma! Oh, don't, 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 don't. You're gonna scare her. You before, but you wouldn't even no, answer. she's not. <laughs> Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary. Power's out? What? A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? She's not happy, is she? Right, go to the basement. Okay, so we knew we were going to do that anyway, because the door is open now. It's her problem. She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. <laughs> I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Get a flashlight from the attic? Okay. The attic. There's a lot of junk in there. Oh, it tells us to go downstairs, then upstairs, then we're going to go back downstairs. We need to find a flashlight. Where would that be? This door is still locked. It is. Right, not seeing one on that side. It's gotta be somewhere. Anyone see one? Is that it? What? That's some weird flashlight, that. It's not new, but it should do. It's got a very powerful bulb. Okay, we'll take it. What's the button to turn it on? I don't know. I'm sure it'll tell us in a minute. Check the bo fuse box in the basement. See if we can get the power back on. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> that made me jump. Hold the space bar. To... Oh, no, we don't want to skip it. Oh, we got it on. We got it on. So, we need to look. <laughs> We've seen that horse before. We've seen it. Okay. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. Where's the fuse box? It's going to be down there, down that creepy little way, isn't it? Right, so we have been in this basement before. But it looks a little bit different. Well, let's go and check the doors. That's locked. It's going to have to be... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, it's a blue box. It's going to have to be around this side. Fuses. Where are the fuses? Not in that way. Eh? Yeah? Oh, I didn't see that way. There's a fuse box. We're missing one. Strange. One's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Oh, there's a key. Hey, we've got a key. We've got to go Maybe through. A spare fuse in the shed by the house. The shed. Okay, so we're going back outside. Is the key open? Any of these? No. Up we go. Out to the shed. 
There is a way in around the back. Okay. Oh, do we use the key then? I don't actually know. Got into it like a little cutscene. Oh, we got a little there are no fuses here. thing with bulbs in. What the f Is that blood? Yeah, it's a bloody hammer, so we're gonna have to go and have a look, aren't we? What is this? It's an axe. Where did blood come from? Bloody sure shirt. It's covered in blood. It looks fresh. How we got it. Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? What have we got? A quantum localizer. I can't make much sense of it, but I trust that the author knew what he was writing about. Okay, well, we'll take it. What is that? The localizer can detect and ana analyze so called quantum traces, which enables us to see sure flashbacks of people from the past, including their precise location and activities. I never had a chance to use it in the field, but we were ordered to carry one just in case. I'd much rather get a gun than another other thief in the Agheads at CIA in the CIA. But we're gonna take it anyway. Right, there's no fuses that we can see. What can we move there? Oh boxes. We'd leave them alone. Oh, is there a ladder? It doesn't go anywhere. <gasps> Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Well, lucky. Honey? In. Oh, gotta press it when it gets to the bottom. Here we go, like that. Oh. We're out. Why are we all dazed? We only banged the door open. <laughs> Something's not right. And the Maybe quantum cloud. The will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what X. did they say in training? Press X to equip and unequip the device. Localizer allows you to detect electromagnets and quantum traces, quantum clouds. This icon informs you that the cloud is near. Press space to continue. Huh. Okay, so... If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who is here in a different time. Okay. We can't get out that way. Right. What do the particles look like? Is that a percentage of how close we've got to be? So it looks like we've got to go this way. It's hard. Hard. I should follow the localizer. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. Okay. What an 80-something percent. This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, and I need to scan it. Use the pulse. Impulse, right. There's the cloud, and we got to scan it. The localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All okay. Mud. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. Try and find more find traces. Here. We gotta go somewhere else now. But we can't do nothing with this. Ah, I see. There we go. Oh, it's in the house, this one. But we're still quite far away. The fuse is missing, some clothes are lying all covered in blood, and a trace of a person near the shed. <laughs> He's having so a good day. Very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. Where do we gotta go? What was that? Oh, it's picked something up. It's gonna be that other building over there. It's saying, this way, 45%, so we're nearly there. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible. Otherwise, I won't see a thing. Here we go. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. What it's interference? Caused by an anomaly nearby. I should an anomaly? It. Destroy the anomaly. Due to their nature, clouds can be unstable, and their readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you have to destroy them all. Find the anomalies in your surroundings. You can make it easier by using the right mouse button. Okay. It was a nearby anomaly. There's the anomaly. To destroy an anomaly, hit it with an EMP charge fire from your device. Hold the left left button and release to fire an EMP charge. The highlighted areas around the localizer indicate the number of anomalies to be found and destroyed. Okay. Now I have to charge the localizer and hit it with a beam. That should do it. Time to stabilize the cloud. Okay, I think we've done it. I'll after destroying all the anom anomalies, return to the quantum cloud. Okay. I did it. 
Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. Does not work? Well, we can scan him, but we can take the rope. Item added to imagery. Oh, it's not letting us see or scan this guy. So, maybe we got to go somewhere else. The localizer has detected a signal. That means okay. The quantum cloud must be near. But when it beeps like that, it means it's detected something. So we're going this way. What are we on? Thirty-nine percent. There it is. Why is there a ladder in the middle of nowhere? Scanning. We must have went up from Complete. Here. How do we get up there? Oh. <laughs> well, that wasn't good. Throw it further. Like that. Pull it down. Oh, we like all the rope. There we go. Up we go. We've discovered another one. This is kind of mad, isn't it? So much blood, and it's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here? Where's the blood? Oh, and there. Trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. Hey, go through that gate. It's kind of locked. Ah, uh, the anomalies on this side. Clearly, drag something heavy through that gate. Oh, all the blood. So much. As you drag something heavy through the gate, Damn, can we open it? Closed. We need to look for a way around. We're going to go this side. We can pull some of this out the way. Nice. I like this little mechanic in the game. Pull it. Snap. There we go. We should be able to crawl through that gap there and go through the rocks. Did that just beep again? I don't know. Hold space to jump. Hey, what way are we going? Oh, look at all the blood down there. Is that where we gotta go? I feel like if we go the down there. Dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. Oh shit, that was a long way down. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're going up this way to the barn. Nothing ever goes bad in a creepy barn in the middle of nowhere, does it? Ever. Hey, can we open this one? Not looking like, can you see through the gap? You might be better just peeking through there before we actually make loads of noise. Damn it! Closed. Just closed. You know, we can get something to break the lock with. Or find another way in. Or look through the wall. <laughs> That'll do. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... Can't see nothing. Fuck! <laughs> this thing scared the shit out of me. <laughs> better check what the lo check localizer's what the localizer detected. Before I go in. We can't see. We can't see. Oh, there's something over there. I don't think we're close enough to scan it, though. But there's definitely something over that side. Okay, so that's where we come from. Now, if we come up this way... Is this... Oh, this might be somewhere different. We might be able to come this way. Go, like, the long way around. I think we can. I think we can. We get up this, please say we can. Oh, you're messing. <laughs> right, there's, there's no way up. Can we get up the rocks? No. Oh. <laughs> right, so we're going to get on you. I knew we were jumping for a reason. Right, let's get this thing out because we know there's someone around here. Oh shit, there's a big hole in the floor. <laughs> right. Just around this part here by the bay hail. We found it. Anomaly detected. Early. We're looking for some kind of weird cloud, right? 
¿Sale? ¿Viese? 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 Oh, wrong button. How many are no there must be more anomalies? There's one. There's one. There must be one more. Eh. Yeah. Oh, we missed. What are these anomalies, though? There we go. That says 90%. Is there still another one? Oh, no, we can do it. We can do it. Who is he? What did he hide here? It doesn't let us scan him once, once we've done this, though, which is mad. But there's definitely a body there. Right, so where do we want to go? All right, we've got to figure out where to go then. We can't jump over you. It feels like we're supposed to still scan you, but we just can't. But what are you doing? You're messing that up. Oh, there's something there. A knife, a knife with blood. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it. There. Mm. I'll take it. Get into the barn. Right, we might be able to cut this rope open now. There we go. Let's go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. There we go. We can open that gate. Right, and there's another one on the other side. I need to try to get inside. Yeah, we know where we're going now. We struggled with this long enough that we've actually seen the way. <laughs> Cutting the thickest part of the rope. Oh, pull the gate. Okay. Oh, we're going into the barn. There's another gate there, but that one's locked. What are we hooking? Oh, the ladder. Nice. Okay, up we go. And we're going into the roof. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a big drop, you know. I already know it. We're gonna fall off. Uh there's a dead animal there. This sounds like something not nice is about to happen. Okay. The music stopped. There's loads oh, of blood. I could have done this. Oh, is this that what the blood's off? Poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. <laughs> hey. Uh oh. What's that beeping? Wait, that beeping. It's as if cool. it's coming from uh, the, the inside. Is it a bomb? It's hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. Are we gonna get up there? We need a ladder. There we go. It sounds like it's a second bomb. You're like, why would you want to grab it? <laughs> oh, can we not reach? Do we need a box? We need something to stand on. Oh, we got ball cutters. We're gonna take them. Right, we need something to stand on. Anything? There's got to be something there, right? There's, there's no way we're standing on a ladder from here. Oh, right. We're not going to use that. It doesn't seem like there's much that we can just pull around this time. Oh, we got, did we got, we got bolt cutters before, didn't we? Oh, I'm a dope. My dope. <laughs> right, well, we can do that. And now look, there's a box there. To reach the ladder and climb up. Just check there's nothing else in here that we might want to collect first. Everything looks like nothing we need. It, that door kind of looks a bit narrow for this crate to fit out. But it does. Right, we're up there. We're up. There we go. Finally. Right, I make this game a lot harder than it has to be sometimes. Chop this down. There's a gas canister. Hey, right, let's get back down the ladder. Don't fall. Oh, look at that. We got bloody footprints. Hey, right, what is this? Don't go boom. Don't go boom. <laughs> you 
Ich habe übrigens gerne so zuerst. Ist doch das andere, ne? Oh, das ist sick. Ich denke, ich werde puke. Komm on. Komm on. Was denkst du, es ist? Ist das ein Fuse? Oh, was ist das ein Fuse in there? Was ist all das Equipment? Und warum war es in... Fuck, was wenn die Sowjets uns jemanden zu folgen haben? Well, da ist der Fuse. No idea what he's on about. The fucker who got at the animal has also been in our house, in our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. And just a hot fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. Okay, I think we got the message, didn't we? Someone's butchered a deer, and the evidence suggests that yeah, yeah, yeah. In our house. Hey, we need the way out. Oh, who opened the door? It's the fuses on in the basement. Hey, I guess we're gonna go down the path. I had to know he's behind me that I'm scared a little bit. <laughs> okay. Let's get running back to the house. If we can find a way. We dropped down from somewhere before, didn't we? I remember back in the day some twisted kids in the area played with the occult, but I don't think this could have been them. Besides the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. But clearly the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I right. hope they don't mistake us for this turkeys. Looks a bit there. far. Can we drop this? <gasps> yeah, we're okay. We're okay. I don't know if it's the right way, though. There's the house. So we're going to go down to the basement. We're going to plug the fuse back in. And things are going to be good. Can turn the lights on, please? Because I don't like it in the dark. I just got chills then. My fuse. Uh, fuse is screwed in. The power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Looks like a bricked up door, doesn't it? Maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much pole. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. It's only the third <laughs> month. What's it going to be like by the ninth? Third month of pregnancy. Right, where was she? <laughs> Jesus, woman! <laughs> you want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician uh -huh. used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a Gonna do some magic. For dinner and a stew. Ta-da! That's in a paint. Clever. You think you can sugarcoat you just the that on the with magic? Where do we start? Oh, did she get it out that box? Some time later. Box full of cash. <laughs> and no wonder that he's carrying that one. Okay. Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. It's not Oh, she's pain. <laughs> where she was. Her, but fine. Oh, now what? Uh, are we just gonna... Oh, she's locked us in. That's never a good sign. Oh shit, don't do that. Paint the wall. Okay, where's the paint? Oh, thank you. Alright, we're gonna do a good job, right? If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? Hmm, no. This isn't covering too well. We gotta go slow. New number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh, gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, cryptanalysis? Cryptanalysis? Maybe before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and... So he's got an important job then. Your back, ...without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone? Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? <laughs> Are we nearly done here? There we go. Oh, what what's she doing? At? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Yeah. Let us finish our first job. Oh, you push it. Can 
Move left, move right. It's a photo, and is that the hat she's just been wearing? Oh God! Now I regret putting that thing on it my is? head. It is. I wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, you'll come to us in our dreams and tell us <laughs> everything. Don't I'd you know what'll happen? First. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy. You're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous oh. century. Oh, it looks like we're headed back down to the basement. A few days later, that's where it all starts going pear shaped. Waking up to a phone call. Looking a little bit better, isn't it? A cleaner, a little bit decorated. Oh, we need to go and answer that phone before they hang up. Well, he's taking his time. Come on, come on. What I forgot our guy's name, if we knew it. Where is he coming from? Next room. Oh, I shut the door on myself. There it is. Hello? Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> Sounds reasonable. Yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. So what happened? I don't know. Stress? He's been paranoid lately. Seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck. O on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. Okay. And give my regards to your wife. Next time. I'll call you in a few days. Got a few days peace from our boss. And there goes my vacation. Use the, the machine, machine is in, in the office. The office. Wasted enough time already. But where is, is this the... Oh, oh, no, it's the living room. That was locked before. What's through this door? That's that our office. Kind of cool, isn't it? All right, what do we got there? Use the machine in the office to learn about famous cryptanalysts from around the world. You have to know the basics. Go breaking yourself. Can you decode all the names you've hidden here? Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> End inspection. Right, I'm sure there's a lot of names that we can use, uh, that we can find in there, but we're not. We're not. We've got loads of cogs on there. Is that going to go in this machine? Oh, it looks like a little typewriter. Ah, oh, still warm. He mustn't have been asleep long. Emma knows how to get me on my feet. Okay. But we need to use this. Do it again. First, let's take a look at the Follow manual. Follow the Enigma's instructions. Where's the manual? Is that it? Reset. Oh, there. Put the instructions below. Before Open activating the, the device must be calibrated. Cylinders. Easy. Do that, follow these steps. Open the top cover by holding the handle on the right hand side, which it's already open, right? Next, place the cylinders marked with Roman numerals in the right slots. Two position one, four position two, five is three. I couldn't remember that. Two is one, four is two, five is three. How do we know which is which? We need... I'm thinking we need them. For starters, I need to open the top cover. To get inside, I need to open the top cover. For starters, I need to open the top cover. Isn't that the top cover? Oh, open. <laughs> I need uh, to never mind. cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. So number two was I need to one. Remember that each cylinder goes into a specific position. 
Now that something wrong. This isn't how it should be. No, no, because we haven't finished yet. Two is position one. Four is position two. Five is position three. So four is position two. No, it shouldn't be inserted like that. I'm sure it should. That's number two, right? Two, position one. Four. Position two. Five, position three. And I forgot what the last I'll one was. The manual again. I think it was point two. Eight is position four. Okay, the first part's done. Now it's time to set the cogs. I okay, set the cogs 214, 622. 2, 14. Piece of cake. Piece now of cake. The last step, the wires at the bottom. Open the bottom drawer of the device. Plug the wires in the drawer in the following configuration. AFT, AFG. Oh, right, we'll, we'll open. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. No, I'm pressing the right button. I want to back out. There we go. Right. Open now that. I just have to plug that in using the right order. Oh, well, that looks confusing. See this from here? A to F. A to F. B to Z. That's it. Now I just need to enter the password. And the password is... I'm going to test using the password BPF, BP flop. I have to be careful. If B I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. P. What was it? F L U P. F L U. P. Okay, it works. I can get down there to it. There we go. And now we can start decoding our stuff. So that was all just to actually get into the machines, get it working. That was mad. Well, at least he's got his coffee. Or tea, I don't know. Well, I'm hoping that he decodes it and not us. Because it could take us a while. <laughs> oh, it's not. What's it's this? us. It looks like a message encrypted with an enigma. Maybe with the right combination, I'll be able to decipher it. Now, how do I set it up? You should know, it's your machine. Ah, uh, that means I want to look on the back. Oh, can we not say it around? One, five, three, ST. This must be a clue for the encrypted message. Five. What does it mean, though? Five, three, how ST. Can I use it to set Enigma up. Right. There was something else on here. Five. Maybe that person used my code table to encrypt the message. How can I guess which combination was used? Five, three. Okay, okay. Five. Three. Okay, five. Something is wrong. Configuration, maybe? Something is wrong. Config. Five, three, I see. Oh, he's saying the code table, and I'm guessing that this must be the code table because I'm not really. Go. Oh. I wonder. V, three, SC. So is it 17? No, because I don't know. Row number 17. So that's got all of them in it. That's got the V, the three, and the... No, not that one. That's got the V, the three, and the SC. Them cables are what we plugged in at the bottom, right? But we can't actually... Oh, we can. Okay. So where's... ST. That's unplugged. ST. Oh, so it's the configuration. Ah. So cables at ST. I've got an idea now. I think we know what it is. So the rotors are V, right? So we need to click on this, open that. And when we go into this for number 17, is it going to be number 5? 
Oh, five, three, two, four. Is that there? Five, three, two, four. There we go. So number three is the rotator offset. Which was which one? So we can probably take these out of there. I think. But which one was the rotator offset? We done the we done the rotors. The Roman five must be linked to the cylinder. The only item I can set on three is the window, and the letters ST are probably linked to the wires. Yeah. What about the rest of the settings, though? Where can I find them? Well, number three is the rotor offset. Eight. Twenty. And five. Where? Not like that. I think that someone used one of the configurations from. The oh, we messed something up. We messed something up out of me. <laughs> uh, but you know what? It's getting late. It's like one o'clock in the morning, and I've got work in the morning. So that is where we are going to finish off. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Really does mean a lot. Hope you are enjoying the game so far. If you are new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the thumbs up. Pop some comments down below. Let us know what you think. I want to say a big thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.